Welcome back to more Total War Warhammer 3 as Astrogoth Iron Hand. This is episode number 2 of our Chaos Wars campaign. I'm excited to continue moving on. We are on turn number 2. If you missed last episode, we took Great Skull Lakes and we started kind of working on upping our, our treasury and stuff in, uh, in our province. So yeah, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. And make sure to turn on the notification bell to be notified of new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And with that being said, let's continue. So, wait, let's go check out Fort Dorzenvort today. I think that should be our goal, and probably we should go now. Because they have a uh, legendary lord there. And mostly sword infantry, it looks like. We have some goblin archers. Some wolf riders. Mostly spear infantry, though, so I think we are probably as okay as we're going to get right now. Before this army mobilizes. So let's go. The Battle of Fort Dorzenvort has commenced. So I guess our biggest thing, this is a settlement battle, so we need to really uh, pay attention, play conservatively here and see what we can get done in a short amount of time. And yeah, I mean, that's kind of where I'm sitting. We have to make sure we get this done quickly before they can get too much done on us. So I think we're probably going to go somewhere around one of these supply locations. So, oh yeah, this is where we spawned. Typically this one takes me a while, but I don't have too many casualties. It just kind of takes me a while to get through, so... Let's channel magic. We're gonna go over here and deploy from right here with a missile front. There we go. So we have 701, they have 1300. Start battle. Let's see what we can do here. Archers just pause the game. So we have a couple of archers right here. A couple of archer or one archer blocking the way here. And an archer blocking the objective. There's their guy. Towers don't start immediately in this new version of the Siege mechanic. So we can probably run with that. Use our flying unit to kind of take out some of these archers. As well as our wolf riders right here. Or, or, or our centaur renders in this case. Because uh, they're our cavalry. And kind of go in and take out these archers. Okay, let's see what we can do. This guy is full health, 5,000 health. So we're going to kind of go in that way. So your speed is 31, their speed is also 31. So you won't really, none of us will really catch. 28. Oh, we're on slow motion. Here we go. 
I don't want archers to be the problem. I want to kind of see if we can't use our centaur here to, uh, or Taurus to, uh, take out some of these archers. So let's, let's see what we can do. I see that there's an issue, I'm gonna send this Taurus back as soon as possible. We're gonna start sending in our archer, our, our guns as well. Don't ragdoll him. There you go. Wait for these to get away, then we'll start kind of freight training them in wave by wave. All right, Taurus, you get out for the moment. That's more like it. That's more like it. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. We're just gonna kind of pull out Danny DeVito and then I started blasting. We rounded one of the units. Let's see, where's the uh, cavalry that they're sending in? There it is. Y'all need to get a, do a little better at routing. Wolf Riders are doing okay. They're hanging back. They're, those archers are hanging back. Hold on. I need to route them again. Oh, well, our Taurus got routed. That's not good. Come 
Keep shooting, actually. You go over here, start going over here, start going over here. Because they have a tower being built. Right now I'll start attacking the tower. So I want to start capturing points. The rest of y'all, come up here and start fighting. We're going to start min-maxing because they're starting to chase some of our guys away. Tower's got 20 more seconds. Come on, that's at 6.05. One more hit should do it. And they can't build anything there for a while. Good, 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 good. And I'm going to immediately send you over there. You take them out, actually. So they are nearly dead. You take them out. You take that out. They're down to nothing. I mean, eighteen. Well, that point is ours. That tower is down, so I actually do not need to capture that tower. Let's see if we can't do. What are you? What the crap? They're shooting through the wall. See if you can't eat a fireball in there. Did that do anything? It did a little bit. Not too terribly. I'm gonna send our bull centaur rider in there to our hero in there to kind of take this out. See if we can't route these guys. Get them out of the way. Bring them down here. I don't think we're going to need them anymore, so I'm going to try and get them out of here. If at all humanly possible. Wait 
the scrap. Time for slow burning. You withdraw. They've got you barricaded in there, so you need to withdraw the other way. I said withdraw, dude. Y'all come back in and finish them off because they're nearly down. We need someone in here to ensure we keep the point capped. Torres is withdrawn for good. That archer is withdrawn for good. That's good. Nobber is down. Or almost, basically. He's at 218. Let's cap point. We have I think we have time to cap point, so. That'll finish this for real. Yeah, there goes their lord. Stay right there. Cap the point, stay right there, you're good to go. And that's that should do it. Oh, they have archers hiding over there. I see them. Finish him. There you go. That was that did a lot of damage. That right there did. There's our victory. There's the cap. In battle, it was a pyrrhic victory, but it was a victory, and it. I think I played very good, pl uh, very good there. Very good strategy, very good overall play. I tried to not min-max if I could. And we took out 830 of them. Meaning the settlement is ours. We're going to take a turn and kind of let them replenish. And then we'll go back onto the battlefield next time yeah i'm happy with that no we didn't lose any units our centaur riders did a lot of damage 178 kills 
Taurus is 67. Our hero was the star there at the end. 79 kills. All came there right toward the end of the uh, thing. And the, one of them was the... Was an otter. So I am... I'm ecstatic. That, that did... That went very well. It took 21 or 20 minutes to do the battle. And I'm fine with that because it takes me a little longer to do one of those. We did two battles on land at the time. It took one settlement battle in the last episode. So, you know, but I'm okay with that. We got a Berserker Sword. 2,400 experience. Occupy the fat uh, as an outpost, and let's do some good old just kind of random work here. So we're setting down the blue line. We have logist logistician and route marcher, ruthless disciplinarian. We're going to get Survivalist. Give Astrogoth a few more hit points. He's going to heal up pretty well. Drop the Enchanted Shield on him. And North Oki! Can I put the ring on you? Yes, I can. So you have access to a fireball spell. And a couple of skill points. Let's do that one. And either hard to hit. That means it's to hit that to 45. Or speed up to 79. Let's do the speed. Because his speed is one of his strongest qualities. Might as well make it stronger, right? We can put a uh, commandment in the province. Start the Overseer's Camp in Great Skull Lakes. And we can do something in the Hellforge if we wanted to. We have the armaments to do it, so let's see. I think we hold out with what we have right now because we're getting 10 armaments per turn. Maybe try and up that production and get some of these like renders or war machines of some kind unlocked. So let's do some Hobgoblin Sneak get some Hobgoblin Cutthroats, some Hobgoblin Archers. And in the term. And with that, that's going to do it for this episode of uh, Total War War Number 3. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe, turn on notification. I'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching.